Look what the storm's blowing in. Look what the storm. He's coming back in a cloud. I wonder tonight. Are we, are our spirits sensitive enough that we can feel tonight what the Lord would try to say to our hearts? The key is you got to be looking for Him. The Bible said He's coming back for those who are looking for, who are watching. And who are waiting. Have we gotten our eyes off on the storm and the problem? And we've forgotten. This might be the storm. It brings the coming of the Lord. This might be the wind that's bringing back my promise. This might be the fire that's carrying my promise. Could it be that this trouble we're going through is signaling to us that the promise is on the way, that the coming of the Lord draweth nigh? Oh, church, we've got to understand the things that are happening around us signify that the coming of the Lord draweth nigh. What should we do? Should we become fearful and afraid? Should we become worried? And, and full of negativism and doubt. Uh, no, uh, we should look uh, lift up our heads. Uh, we should look up. Uh, we should look what the storm's blowing in. Uh, the promises are coming. Uh, the promise is coming. The promise is coming. The promise is coming. The promise is coming. Hallelujah. Elijah said, stand with me for just a minute. Elijah said to his servant, go look and see what you see on the horizon. And the servant went and he said, came back and he said, Clear skies. And Elijah went, oh, let me pray some more. Now go look again. Came back and he said, clear skies. Elijah said, let me pray some more. Seven, six times he went. Clear skies. Elijah prayed again until finally... The servant came back and said, Hey, I see a cloud. Elijah said, It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. What are you saying tonight? I'm saying, don't be discouraged by the storms. Don't be discouraged by the winds. Don't be discouraged by the fire. Because it's coming. It's coming. The promise is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. You don't get the fourth man until you get in the fire. The promise doesn't come until the fire comes. The promise doesn't come until the whirlwind blows. I propose to you tonight, church, the promise is on the way. The revival is on the way. Restoration is on the way. The coming of the Lord draweth nigh. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Would you clap your hands unto the Lord? is coming the promise is coming the promise is coming and now just maybe to kind of change the order for just a moment I, I don't know but I feel like maybe I need to do this every head bowed and every eye closed never before in the history of time has there been more wars going on at one time than there are in the hour that we're living in never in the history of time has it the, the stage been set for the Antichrist like it is set in our hour. You think about our own United States and the turmoil that's going on within our government and, and whether at this point there's not any one person that, that anybody really feels like would be a great leader for our country. That's not only happening in our nation, but it's happening around the world, just setting the stage for the Antichrist to come. You think about the pestilences that are coming and, and there are so many things that we could mention. You think about the famines that are happening. You think about the things that are going on around our world. The storms are raging. The winds are blowing. The fire is getting hot. The promises are coming to the church. But I wonder tonight if maybe there might be some young person. There might be some older person. Some 
young married, some middle-aged man or, or woman that in this service tonight, you know, church, I know that ma many of you are ready for the, most of you are ready for the coming of the Lord, but would you pray and ask the Lord to deal with the heart of that one that may not be right tonight? If there might be that one, perhaps it's someone who's gotten their eyes off on the storm and they've just given up hope and they don't really think they could make it. You just need a fresh touch from the Lord tonight. I wonder if there might be some young person, somebody, that if the Lord were to come tonight, you're really not ready. Only the sound of the trumpet keeps us from going home. There's not anything else that needs to be fulfilled. There's not anything else that needs to happen. The trumpet of the Lord could sound this night. The promise of God could be coming in this storm on this whirlwind. And I wonder if there might be someone who'd step out of their seat tonight and make their way to this altar and just say, I want to be right. I want to be ready. Maybe it's somebody that you, you, everybody would look at you and wonder why you were coming, but you just know in your own heart you're not sure that you'd be right if the Lord, you'd be ready if the Lord were to come. I wouldn't leave this house tonight without getting right with the Lord. I wouldn't leave tonight without being right with God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I encourage you to come. I invite you to come now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe you're standing beside of somebody. You know, you know them well enough to know that they're not really living for the Lord tonight. Maybe you just turn to them right now and invite them to come. Say, why don't we come and get right with God? The Lord's on the way. Revival's on the way. The outpouring of the Spirit is drawing near. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. And are there others? Time, are there others who would like to come and make sure your heart with the Lord tonight? Oh, as we sing it, invite you to come. Move me, Move me with, with your God message. message once oh, again. hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Would you it's pray with me, church? So would you pray tonight that the Spirit of the Lord would move upon the hearts of those who might need to come? Take and me back, back once more to Calvary. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord's and coming. One more time. The Lord's coming. Let your best and move. Oh, we need to be ready when He comes. Move me. Move me with your message once again. again. Take me back once more. Hallelujah. To Maybe you just need a fresh touch. Maybe you just need to, to look again toward the heavens. Maybe you need to again realize that the, the Lord really is going to come. Maybe that hope needs to be made alive again in your heart. I invite you to come. Move me with oh, make it fresh. Make it real. Maybe it's been a while since you've really thought rejoiced about the coming of the Lord. Would you come and let the Lord touch your heart tonight? Oh, Lord, make it fresh. Make it new. Make it real in my life. Oh, it... Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the Spirit of the Lord renew your heart. And one more to God. Glory to God.